Hello, welcome to today's lesson from the IELTS coach. Today I'm going to give you seven techniques that you can use to improve your reading speed. How to read faster. Obviously this will help you in the reading exam when you have to read um, long texts and read the questions. It also helps in the listening exam when you've got to read through the questions quite quickly. So here are seven techniques that you can use to improve your reading speed. And the first one is to start reading with a positive attitude. So I see this all the time when I'm teaching in class and students just, they don't look happy. They look like they're sad or depressed or they're going to make a lot of mistakes. When you do that, it's really hard to be positive and get the right answers. So do your reading like you think you're going to understand what you're reading. Don't look at it and think, oh, I won't understand anything because that will become true. So think, okay, this looks like an easy text. I can do this. My English is good enough. I can find the answers. I can understand the main ideas. I know what to do. Be positive. If you feel lazy or negative, whenever you do anything, you don't do it very well. If you go out for a run, you want to run around the block. If you're feeling sad and negative, you're not going to run very well. You're not going to run quickly. It's not going to feel good. The same with your reading. If you think it's difficult, it will be difficult. If you think you will make mistakes, you will make more mistakes. Have a positive attitude. Think what is possible. I won't get them all, but I can get most of these answers. Be positive. The next thing is to have a clear goal before you start reading. Reading is not something we do just in general. We generally have a purpose. We have a reason why we are reading. In IELTS, that purpose is very clear. I'm reading to find the answer to this question. Or I'm scanning to find the date that the question asks. I'm scanning for a name. I'm skimming for the main idea of the paragraph. You have a clear purpose. Don't just read and then, oh, I don't know. What do you remember? Nothing. You need to have a purpose. It might be to skim and get a general understanding. It might be to scan and find specific information. It might be to learn new vocabulary or for enjoyment. But in IELTS, it's usually skimming and scanning, looking for the answers, looking for keywords, matching to the questions. Why are you reading this paragraph? Why are you reading this sentence? You have to have a purpose. You have to know what you are looking for. Next, use a guide to control your eyes. So this might sound a bit strange. By a guide, I mean your finger or a ruler or a pencil that you can use to move along the line. So your eyes know what to follow. They can follow along. This helps you read faster because you can slowly start moving your pencil faster. It helps you stay focused instead of getting lost in the page, especially for a big paragraph. So it can help you. The thinner or the more narrow the guide, the better, because you don't want it getting in the way. I couldn't use my fingers because they're big fat fingers. I can't see the words. So use something that you can just use to help you increase your speed, to help you stay focused on that part of the page. Another tip for increasing speed when reading is don't move your mouth. So you are reading for understanding and you are thinking of the ideas. Your brain and your eyes work much faster than your mouth can move. You're not reading out loud. You're not speaking to somebody. So don't move your mouth when you are reading, even just silently. Don't do it. Don't move your mouth, you can go much faster. Uh, the next one is to put yourself under time pressure, which IELTS does this for you. But in order to improve so you're ready for IELTS, do it yourself when you're practicing. Oh, I did one hour of reading. Well, you did one passage in one hour? That's not very good. IELTS, you need to do three passages. So practice doing that. And don't just practice doing one passage in 20 minutes like you have IELTS. Try and get that down. If you can be faster in reading, you have more, more time 
to transfer, more time to check for mistakes, more time to be careful. So try and do it in 19 minutes, and the next time, 17 minutes. And then the next time, try and do get your time down, but keep the points or your score the same or improving. So time pressure, having a clock there, which you will have in the exam, watching the minutes tick down, that helps you move more quickly. It stops you from getting distracted. So using time pressure is a good way to improve reading speed. And the last one I have there is do more effective reading practice. I did have just practice more, but there is effective practice and ineffective practice. In terms of IELTS, effective practice means reading and answering questions. Reading and writing a summary. Reading and doing something else. Reading is not going to improve your IELTS score. You don't get marks for reading in IELTS. You get marks for finding the answers in the reading text. That's what you need to practice. Your reading may be great, but you're not good at finding answers. That's not going to help you in IELTS. So effective reading practice in IELTS, that means finding the answers. It also means doing the different question types. If you only do true, false, not given questions because you're too lazy to write words, then you're going to have trouble in IELTS. Effective practice means doing what you will do on exam day. The same time pressure, the same type of questions, the same length of text. That is effective practice. Reading a newspaper is not good practice for IELTS. It's good that you can read and understand and learn things in a newspaper, but it's not effective for IELTS practice. So don't say, I read the newspaper for an hour. That was my studies for today. That's not going to help you. So just seven things that you can do to improve your reading speed and make your reading preparation more effective. So reading speed is an important thing. It does take time. Now that you know these seven, seven things, you're not going to read quickly today or tomorrow. It will take time and practice. And one way to do that is to monitor yourself. How long does it take you to read a page? Time yourself today, practice every day, time yourself in 10 days time. So measuring your reading speed is not that important in this context, but actively trying to read faster while understanding and answering questions, that's what your aim is. Read faster, answer questions. Read quickly, find the information, answer the questions that the test requires. So I hope these have made you a bit more aware of what you can do to improve your reading skills and your reading speed. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them below this video. And I look forward to seeing you in the next lesson.